And Attorney General Alan Ramlogan is promising that the dog control bill will be proclaimed as low soon. The AG spoke with Jonathan Chase via telephone this afternoon following the fatal mauling of 84-year-old Lillian Bunsey by a pit bull in La Saiva this morning. Attorney General Anand Ramlogan says although it has been passed, the dog control bill is not yet law. But there were some suggestions with respect to amendments that must be made before the act can be proclaimed. These were suggestions made by the opposition and the independent senators. And we have, in fact, drafted those amendments. And early in the new session, we will be taking that um, act to Parliament to effect the necessary amendments. The Attorney General pledges to make it a priority to get the legislation proclaimed. I give my commitment that before the new session of Parliament is over, we will have this legislation with the necessary amendments in place. And I know that the Honorable Minister of Local Government, my colleague Dr. Surajatan Rambachan, has been working assiduously to put the necessary administrative structures in place to allow the local government bodies to um, deal with this um, problem once legislation is implemented. Jean-Claude Aljmael of the Trinidad and Tobago Canine Association says the TTCA is behind legislation governing dog ownership, but remains adamant that such laws should not target one specific breed. We would like to have legislation passed that would also take into consideration all other breeds of dogs and force the owners to be on the owner to be responsible. Mr. Aljmael says aggression training can play a role in increased attacks. If a dog is given aggression training or protection training without having been trained in basic obedience and being properly socialized, there's, there's the added risk of this animal when let loose to be a danger to the public. The TTCA is urging the public not to abandon their dogs. Reports of abandoned pit bulls have increased significantly since the dog control bill was passed in Parliament in July. Jonathan Chase, C.